Okay, I notice a lot of people hate Bronny. It's just so sick. It's like, why do y'all hate this guy? He's 19. He's 19. He's a teenager. Okay, he's still he's still developing his game. Okay, he's only like 6'1", 6'2", at best. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? He's, you know, he, he's got Steph Curry's height, but, I mean, he's, he doesn't have Steph Curry shooting. But you don't need that in order to be effective in, in the NBA. I mean, you can be a, you know, at best, you know, he could be a, like a Drew Holiday. He got drafted the 55th pick. They, it's like no one really had these, these crazy expectations. Like he was supposed to be a number one draft pick or something like that. I could see if he got picked number one and they wasted like a number one draft pick, you know, on a generational talent player, um, you know, first round, first, second, third guy, right? 55, I mean, damn. What do you expect out of 55? You know, like what? how important is the, is, is the 55th pick? I mean, yeah, you, you want to take all you can get when you get draft picked, but I'm like, come on, man. Leave the guy alone. Let, let him hoop. Let him develop. Let him find his way. Let him find his rhythm. It's going to take time. Nobody, can you tell me what the stats were on the other teams? Nobody's really watching the other teams. I'm not saying that they're not playing good ball. I'm just saying Bronny is a big name. Not, not not necessarily just because of his playing ability, which is, you know, he can still play, but it's like it's going to take time for him to get there. Give him time, right? But his name is just, he has, he has 8 million followers. Oh, it ain't about social media. It's, it don't matter. People know him. People want to see him grow. And it's just like I see so many people, like, hating on the guy. And it's like, bro. I swear, it's like I, the people that hate on on Bronny, not, not to get personal, but it's like it's almost like they have daddy issues or something. Like their daddy never loved them or something. It, it, it's what it seems like. And I'm like, damn, how do you hate on a father looking out for his son? And I mean, it's not like he wasted a number one draft pick, bro. It's, it's literally 55th pick. And and at the same time, I can see if it happened all the time, but it's it doesn't happen all the time. This is the first time it's ever happened in the NBA. Can we just have this one little a uh, moment for them to have, you know, to play together and, you know, Bronny to, to develop. We, no one's expecting him to be a star uh, starting five on the lineup and winning championship. No, nobody's expecting that right now. Remember, Kobe, his uh, rookie year, he was averaging like, what, seven, eight points? You know, I, I, I mean, damn, what do you expect? And then you got to understand, Bronny had a setback. He literally died. He literally died last year. The fact that he's able to play is a miracle. And it's like so many sick individuals don't even understand that. Bro, do you understand what happens when your heart stops? That's not a heart attack. It literally means you... Let's look it up. What, what happens when you have cardiac arrest? But look, I'm not going to get too deep in that rabbit hole, but you get the picture. Just be thankful that he's still alive. Understand that He's earning his stripes. Yes, he got drafted. Oh, he got drafted for his dad. But he still has to earn everything. He has to earn that roster spot because he's really going to be in the G League for a while until he can really find his shot or find his rhythm and find his game. He, it took him time. Like the time when he was sick, well, the, the time it took for him to get back to on his feet and be able to play again, that took away from him developing in college. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, he should have stayed in college and a lot of them stay in college and do another year. But it's like, why not just go ahead and go to the NBA and just start playing with NBA competition? That's the best way to really level up. You can't, you know, not everybody, it's very few players that can come straight out of high school and impact the game on a professional level. Actually be starting five. Like, it's not, it's just not that common. See, a lot of people see Bronny as half empty. But see, normal people, I think normal people, who don't or aren't just full of hate, I think that they see Bronny as half full. Okay, yes, he he can play. I'm not saying he's great, but that's okay. He doesn't have to be great right now. He could be great later. As long as he can just find his game, I think he'll be okay. Nobody said he has to be the next LeBron. So are there other players that are better than Bronny that aren't really getting any media coverage? Yes, but nobody knows him. Okay, they will eventually have their time to shine. But right now, this is our first time seeing a father-son in the same league on the same team eventually going to be probably playing in the same game at some point. All right, so it's kind of like your nephew. 
if your nephew makes it to the league, you'll probably watch a lot of games. If your little brother makes it to the league, you'll probably watch every game, if, if not show up. If your son makes it to the league, you'll definitely you'll be at damn near every game. Or you'll be watching every game on TV. Okay, so Bronny is a kid that I think a lot of people have watched grow since we've seen we've known him since he was a baby. We knew him since he was born. So if you watch this kid grow your, his entire life, if your next door neighbor, somebody you knew personally made it to the league, you'd probably tune in. So the reason he gets so much coverage is because a lot of people know him. So stop the hate. Oh, he, he sucks. Man, let the kid develop. Okay. Let the kid find his way. You wouldn't want nobody hating on, you know, your nephew or your cousin, or your neighbor. I mean, I get it. If they're not good, that's fine. You can say it. You can voice your opinion. There's nothing wrong with, you know, stating obvious or whatever, you know, but understand that it doesn't make him, you know, a, a player that doesn't deserve to be there. I mean, I think that a lot of players kind of have to find their way. Not everyone is just supposed to just show up, you know, with no setbacks and show up and be able to impact the game and be on the starting lineup. It's just not, it's just not realistic. So just give the kid time to grow. And I don't give a damn. I would still take, from a business perspective, I would take a guy. I would take Bronny over a guy that can give me 10, can average 10 points a game. Just from the business aspect, you know how many tickets you're going to sell? You know how many, uh, how much advertisement revenue you're going to make? Just people tuning in. I'm just saying, people want to people watch them. They want to see them develop. And some people, they, they have that Mayweather effect. Where it's like, Mayweather made so much money because a lot of people hated Mayweather. And even the people that hated May Mayweather tuned in to watch him lose. And they never they never saw him lose. But I'm saying if you're a person who hates LeBron, those same people for some reason hate his son, sick bastards, then they in turn will still watch his games. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm just thinking from like a business perspective. I'm like, shit. You know, that's why the NCAA had to pay players because players were getting tired of going to the NCAA and not get paid. So, I mean, Bron Bronny he still has a name. He still has a brand. And I think that he can still bring in a lot of uh, eyes. Like, I know this sounds bad, but it was kind of like the WNBA where, you know, I know that some girls there can actually hoop, right? But it wasn't entertainment because it wasn't even that – it wasn't that the girls couldn't hoop. It was more so – like, it was no story. There was no rivalry. Like, they finally have a rivalry now. And Bronny is a story. Like, a lot of people can actually name two or three teams now. You know what I'm saying? We can probably name, you know, a lot of NBA fans can probably name probably like five or six uh, WNBA players now. It's, it's it's grown. You know what I'm saying? We can't uh, – I can't name 10, 15, 20 different players. But, you know, I, I can I can name a couple, right? So I'm just saying, let, let Bronny bring in eyes. Let him develop. Let him grow. Remember, not everybody, not every player is supposed to come in averaging 15, 20 points a game. That's not realistic. But, you know, it, but if my nephew sucked, my little brother sucked, I mean, I would let him know. I wouldn't say, oh, you suck. Oh, you need to get out the league. No, I mean, we're going to work on, you know what I'm saying? We're going to work on some things. You know, there's a difference between constructive criticism and just plain out hate. I mean, can people name any other player who's averaging what Bronny's averaging? There's actually a lot of guys averaging what Bronny's averaging, but no one's talking about him and no one's saying they're trash either. I think a lot of people have this deeply rooted hate for LeBron for, for whatever reason, and you're taking it out on his son. I mean, I remember last year when Wimbenyana went into uh, the summer league, and, I mean, they were just on him. Y'all literally giving number one – y'all giving him the same energy y'all gave Wimbenyana. And Wimbenyana is a generational talent. Number one overall. But he had still he still had plenty of time to develop in the pros for at least a year before he got drafted. You know, Bronny, this is his pro. And he barely even got to play, you know, after high school. He basically his only real basketball time that he had was in high school. So, you know, and even when Bignana had a slow start. I mean, it, it didn't take him long, but I mean, damn, he's what, seven five. You know, so it, it <laughs> Bronny's 6162. So, I mean, I think we're kind of, I think the media is overly rough on uh, a 55th pick. I mean, no, I know 55th pick has ever had this much. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Can you think of another 55th pick that's 
ever had this much damn pressure? I think realistically, the ceiling for Bronny is to develop for a couple months, not only summer league, but in the G League until like now mind you, they said G League. They was gonna, he was going to be in the G League before he even um, played in the summer league. But they, 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 of course, they was like playing the G League. I think he's going to be in there for a couple months. Maybe by January, he might come out and actually play an actual game in the NBA if he's ready. If he's actually can come in there and perform. You got to understand, being drafted doesn't, I mean, it means something, but it doesn't mean anything. You could get drafted and then be playing in the G League, you know, for your whole, pretty much your whole career. And, and if you don't make it in the G League, then your ass be playing in Taiwan or for the Shanghai Sharks. <laughs> the fuck? So understand that even though his dad, of course, helped him, it doesn't mean that he it guarantees him anything. He still has to actually go out there and pre- play on his own and earn that spot on the roster or even to be on the damn bench during the game. Like, he has to earn all that. Now, he will still get paid, okay? That's what they contract's for. But besides all that, so I think it was kind of – now, you know, my job is to make jokes, right? So I'm going to make jokes. I don't give a damn. But the whole Jalen Brown thing, I think it was kind of messed up because it's not like he was just publicly speaking negative about Bronny. I mean, you could be talking about your own family member, but not not necessarily saying that, you know, you di- you dislike them. It's not like a, a personal attack. I mean, you just they're, you, they're watching a damn sporting event. But people monitoring your damn conversation, I think it's kind of messed up. It's kind of an invasion of privacy, but I get, I get it. They're in the public, and, you know, I guess you got to be a little more smooth. You got to be more careful with how you do things, especially when you are a celebrity. You know, you can't even, you know, it's one thing to have people reading your text messages and going through your phone, but you can't even have a conversation without people reading your lips. And I think it's kind of messed up. So, I mean, that was an invasion of privacy, in my opinion. And it should have never been a thing. But, hey, I don't give a damn. My job is to make jokes. But it ain't about me. You know, it's way bigger than me. I'm just some small dude on uh, YouTube. But I think um, the way everyone kind of took it and ran with it, it is what it is, but I I, I don't think that Jalen meant any harm. I mean I, I I mean I think most people can agree. I mean I want to see Bronny succeed, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say that he's pro. You know what I'm saying? He's not pro. That's not a knock. That's not a knock on Bronny. If he was my little brother, I would say the same thing. I mean if he was my son, I, I would say the same thing. You're not ready yet. You're not ready to be. You're ready to be in the league. And to develop, but you're not ready to be starting five lineup or something like that. You know, you're not ready for next level competition because this is just summer league. This isn't even the best players. You know, these are guys just trying to get their feet wet. So even though Jalen Brown said that, it's not. I don't think anyone should look at Jalen Brown a certain way as like he's some bad person for saying what he said. I mean, I can see if he said, oh, uh, Bronny ain't shit. I mean, that's more of a personal attack, right? Oh, fuck Bronny. You know, it's a, it's a personal attack. But if he's like, oh, he's not he's not really pro yet. He's not really pro. I mean, that's fine. And plus, we don't really know the the the, the context of what they were saying. You know, th- that's important, too. That's what happens when you eavesdrop. But anyway, so, yes, that's fine if he's not pro right now. He can be pro later. I think he'll – I think Bronny will get there, if not next year, maybe by the year after, I think he'll be able to hold his own. But that's just that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.